Hello and welcome. My name is Andrea Tarsitano and I'm the Vice Provost Students and Registrar at Lakehead University. It is my privilege to be the MC for today's President's Welcome. I'd like to extend a warm welcome to all of our students, family, friends, faculty and staff to officially celebrate the commencement of the 2020-2021 academic year. A very special welcome to all of our brand new students. This is an important moment for you as it marks the beginning of your new adventure at Lakehead. We are excited that you are joining us today for the official orientation welcome ceremony. This ceremony marks the beginning of your Lakehead journey, one that will challenge you, enrich you, strengthen your skills and resolve, and help you reach your incredible potential. Our distinguished guests are here to welcome you to the Lakehead community. As we begin today, I would like to acknowledge the original custodians of this land and pay my respect to the elders past, present, and future, for they hold the memories, the traditions, the culture, and the hopes of Indigenous peoples. Lakehead University respectfully acknowledges its campuses are located on the traditional land of Indigenous peoples. Lakehead Thunder Bay is located on the traditional lands of the Fort William First Nation, signatory to the Robinson Superior Treaty of 1850. Lakehead Aurelia is located on the traditional territory of the Anishinaabe. The Anishinaabe include the Ojibwe, Odawa, and Powhatomi nations, collectively known as the Three Fires Confederacy. I also acknowledge the history that many nations hold in this area and look forward to respect, respectful relations with the First Nations, Métis and Inuit in the spirit of reconciliation. Lakehead is proud of the rich tradition and contributions of our Indigenous elders, faculty, staff and students. I'm delighted to introduce to you our friend, community elder, knowledge keeper and alumnus of Lakehead, Audrey DeRoy, who will bring us an honor song. We ask that you all join us in standing wherever you may be for the honor song. Please stand. Aha, bojo gakna wea. Greetings to everyone and to the, all the students that are coming in. I say chi miigwech for being here at Lakehead University. Niji miigwech nindigo, wajash nindo dem, anizotik nindoji, Audrey DeRoy nindij nakaz. Chimigwich, Kishimanato, Great Spirit, Nokmasak Mishomasak to our grandmothers and our grandfathers, to Wabanung, Shawanung, Ningabewanung, Kiwaitanung to the four directions. Chimigwich for everything that gives us life each and every day. Mino Bamad is the win. Haho. This is an honor song, giving thanks to the good path that we're walking upon. <clears throat> Oh, eh, 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 eh,
University, welcome. Aha, miigwech. Geekin adina we maganak. Happy I'll see you again. Thank you, Audrey. It's always a pleasure to have you join us. For students that are interested in learning more about Indigenous culture and traditions, please connect with the Indigenous Student Services Centre. All of their services are available online, including meeting with their elders and residents. I'm now honored to introduce to you Elder Jerry Martin to provide words of welcome to our Thunder Bay campus. Take my mask off and put it on the mic. Bonjour, watche, chego, washte. Greetings, Earthlings. That's for all you Vulcans and Star Trek spacey people. And we are in the engineering building, so it's befitting. This year is going to be very, very different, challenging. And for those of you that succeed to make it through the nine months we got in front of us, yeah. That'll be a challenge and a success when we see you doing the convocation and walking across the stage, the virtual stage, I guess, maybe, and getting your physical degree, all of that. We gotta work on all that stuff. This is new challenges. But for always, for the newcomers from afar that come to our campus, that come to be here on Mishnabic land, you are welcome. Treat Mother Earth with respect and respect the Vindama Anishinaabek. We're here, and I know people that come up from other places, especially down south, say, wow, there are a lot of natives up north. Yeah, this is our land, and this is where we come from, uh, especially on the Kichigumi Chicagan. The, you know it as superior, but it's been the homeland for Anishinaabek people for about 3,000 years. But we learn, as Audrey had pointed out, to respect the four directions, to respect Mother Earth, all the levels of life that is above us in the sky, that is on the earth, in the earth, and those that are in the water. So be careful. Um, one of the other things I, I'm snickering about is that the new students come up here and they don't realize, yeah, there's still a lot of water, wildlife. We, I don't know if anybody's seen any bears on campus yet, but they walk around on our campus, the foxes, shagak, the skunk, deer, and a number of other creatures that we find here. Eagles fly over almost every day. So as you see this old man out there waiting for a bus or <clears throat> taxi on the Agora Loop, and I'm, there. I'm just probably looking at the eagles flying over, and I've seen people 
<clears throat> move away from me when I'm doing that, and I'm talking away in Ojibwe to the eagle. And they look at me. You're strange, that old dude. But it's our custom and our way to talk to nature and be one with nature and respect it. I am always hopeful that on this campus we have a really good forestry program, engineering, sciences, all of these things. And it focuses on the earth, Mother Earth. And we must respect her in every way. So I'm going to say a brief prayer and turn it over to the next person. But if you want to come drop by or talk to me, and arrange that with Aboriginal services. I think I'm Zooming this year. I don't know. Yeah? Okay. No more in person smudging and talking. Okay. Thank the Creator for all the things that we have, our ancestors from the past that brought life forward, for our parents that gave us life, for our children and our families and our grandchildren and great-grandchildren that are yet to come. Help us, Creator, to respect the earth and to remind us of all the teachings under every rock and leaf which you have put there that we should learn from and respect Mother Earth. So once again, I say, Awao, Indige, come forward. You are welcome into our land. Uh, this area particularly, Animki, Waju, Anishinaabe, are the Fort William people in the land of the Thunderbird. So welcome, and I hope to see you through the year somehow. You're welcome to talk to me anytime you want. Miwi, miigwech, bamapi. I'm leaving now. Thank you, Elder Martin. It is now my honor to introduce a video from Elder Trish Monig to provide welcoming remarks to our Aurelia students. Rowena Bojo, Nindwe Mangaduk, Gishkondo Quendish Nakaz, Wapshishing No Dem, Chimnasing Dojaba, Budawatami Ojibwe Nishnabe Quendao, Nijo De Mede Quendao, Jimmy Uchwendan Minoba Modswin. I just want to say how grateful I am to be a part of the beginnings for you. For some, it's the beginning of your school year your very first school year, for some you're returning. And it's just an exciting time for those that are standing behind you and beside you and around you, supporting you. I just want to say, I hope to see you throughout the year. And I also want to encourage you to continue, no matter when the difficult times come, and they will come, just know that there is support for you and that there's people there that are cheering you on. Um, I always include a prayer on the side for everybody to ask God, Creator, to look our way and to be kind and gentle to our students as they enter into that higher education. And I'm so grateful that you came to Lakehead University, because if I were 30 years younger, I'd be right there beside you. I might still someday, you never know. I just want to say Chimi Gwich on behalf of all of us. The rock that you are, the pebble that you're throwing into the pond and the rippling effects, you know, that encourages everybody, our young ones that are looking this way as you are preparing to start your school year. Someday they're going, they're sitting there going, I want to do that. I want to go to Lakehead University. And you're creating that for them. Uh, just want to say, Ajwem Nishnang Gizem Nado, Chimi Gwich, and enjoy your school year. Thank you for sharing those words with us. I would now like to introduce Chief Peter Collins, who will welcome you to the Fort William Territory and give brief remarks on the history of the land and relationship. Doc, Dr. Jerry Martin, uh, it's always uh, great to see your face and to listen to your, your, your prayers and your teaching. Audrey, what a beautiful song, what a beautiful way to start uh, the, the Zoom meetings or, or however you're participating in the, in the event tonight and to Trish uh, recognizing the territorial lands of our brothers and sisters from the south. Uh, it's always an honor to see all of you. Uh, we're living in a different world today and that world is uh, very challenging to, to a lot of us and to most of us as we 
continue to try to protect ourselves and protect our families and protect our communities and and understand uh, the commitments that we have to make to make sure we all stay healthy and safe. To the students, uh, it's a great honor to be a host here in Fort William. Uh, the many contributions that we have made here in, in the Thunder Bay region and uh, throughout. Uh, as original signatories to the Robinson Superior Treaty, uh, Fort William, uh, many contributions that we made to helping uh, get in the city to where it is today. Uh, particularly around water and land and the resources that go with it. Uh, uh, we have made so many uh, sacrifices to, to build a strong relationship with our brothers across the river uh, in the city of Thunder Bay. And we, we built a strong relationship with uh, uh, all the visitors in this area. And we continue to do that. And we continue to work uh, to bring in health and well-being within our city, within our, in our communities. And, uh, we want to continue on that path uh, for the students. Uh, we hope that you, you get to understand uh, what the treaties mean to our communities and what it meant to our people, uh, what it meant to all of us in this country today, and the strong resources that we, uh, we ultimately enjoy in the lands and the resources of the animals and all of that goes with it. We want you to understand that Fort William is a, will very much open, welcome you with open arms. When you struggle, if you struggle in the school and you need to get back to nature, our land is close to the university. Our land is uh, very uh, well versed in forest and, uh, and some very beautiful trails on Mount McKay and other areas of our community. So take your time, take your uh, efforts to respect the territorial lands that we occupy here today. And uh, please, uh, if ever that you need to talk to myself or anybody in our community, just Give me a call or send me an email. I'm open to discussing anything. As I, I get to enjoy to speak to uh, students once in a while, uh, one that comes to ma mention to me not long ago was a young lady come from the college and she wanted to listen and understand our culture. So what I did is I, I said, I want to teach you something else, the history of our community. And one of the things she said when she, after leaving, and just by the way, she said she got an A plus in, in uh, in her education uh, presentation from my, uh, my uh, information that I provided to her. But at the end of that conversation, she said, well, that's not what our parents have taught us about the indigenous people of this, of this great land that uh, we occupy here today. So those are asking uh, all of the returning students and the new students to understand uh, our culture, understand our commitments and understand our traditions and our, and respect those and respect the land that you're, you, you, um, you cross over and you cross through. So again, uh, I, I welcome all the students returning and uh, new ones that are coming into the city and coming into the university. Please uh, uh, feel free to contact me. Please, please feel free to come into our community and visit. Uh, again, uh, I, I hope you enjoy your academic year. And thank you to all the university uh, faculty, Dr. Doyer, Moyer uh, McPherson. So, uh, I know I'm going to see you on the Zoom here shortly. and be nice to see your face. I haven't seen it for a little while. So to all the students on behalf of Fort William First Nation, I want to welcome you to the beautiful land of Fort William and the beautiful traditional territory of Fort William. Again, thank you very much and uh, enjoy your learning year. Thank you, Chief Collins, for joining us. I would now like to introduce Chief Ted Williams of the Chippewas of Rama First Nation. Honey. Bonjour, Ted Williams from Dijnakas, Ramaman Jikining Donjaba, Gigo Dorem. My name is Ted Williams. I'm from the Chippewas of Rama First Nation. Uh, my clan is the Fish Clan. I want to uh, extend uh, a warm welcome to all the students, whether you're in, uh, in Thunder Bay uh, or in, in Aurelia. Uh, I want to say thank you to our elder, uh, to our liaison. Uh, to all the fine people who uh, work uh, very hard at Lakehead University. It's uh, a treat for me to see my friend, uh, Chief Peter Collins. Uh, we have a, a strong friendship that goes back uh, a number of years. So it's, it's good to see Peter uh, as well during these times. Uh, Chippewas of Rama are members of the, uh, as was indicated, Three Fires Confederacy. 
Uh, we are uh, made up of uh, the Chippewa Tri Council, which is uh, Georgina Island, and uh, the Bozale First Nation, otherwise known as Chris Christian Island or Chimnasing. Uh, on behalf of my community, uh, my uh, council, uh, and uh, all of the uh, members of uh, the surrounding area, which we have a strong relationship with, I want to welcome each and every one of you to uh, the Aurelia um, Rama area. It's a beautiful area uh, of Twin Lakes, and uh, we are best known, I guess, for, for the casino. Uh, save your money, uh, take it from me, uh, spend it wisely. Uh, and it is certainly a pleasure. This is my official uh, first event uh, as chief. We had an election uh, about 10 days ago. So it certainly is an honor. We share a great relationship uh, with Lakehead uh, and have for a number of years and we're looking to build on the strengthening of that relationship. In closing, I wanna say uh, similar comments that I had given to uh, the graduating class back in uh, in June, I believe it was, uh, and, and I call it the four Ds. The four Ds are, are made up of the desire that you have uh, to pursue your education, to pursue, uh, you know, that which you have uh, a passion for, uh, and dedicate yourself uh, to your education. Uh, you'll meet challenges, uh, but you also need to uh, uh, resolve to be determined uh, to. Uh, do what you need to do, uh, and and do it uh, with the, with a smile on your face. Uh, the last one is uh, the discipline. There are going to be times, and I know this well, where you know what you you should do, but you don't really want to do it. But this is where you need to practice the discipline uh, in order to get uh, through uh, your 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 academic year and and through your education. Uh, as you move into and look into a, a career beyond uh, your education. On behalf of the Chippewas of Rama, once again, uh, welcome and have a great academic year. And uh, by all means, uh, if you see us, I see myself walking the streets uh, downtown because I, I, there's, there's a, a lot of great shops in downtown Aurelia. Uh, by all means, uh, step out. Step out of the comfort zone. Say hello. Say Anin. Once again, big watch and have a great year. Thank you, Chief Williams, for sharing those great words with us. An important part of the opening ceremony is the opportunity to hear from a student within the university community who can reflect on their experience at Lakehead and in so doing, inspire each of you as you join us today. Please join me in welcoming Lahama Naheem. Lahama grew up all over, living in Calgary, Toronto, Pakistan, and Thunder Bay. She is a third year biology student who serves as a member of the Lakehead University Student Union Board of Directors and has worked for the Lakehead International Department. Over to you, Lahima. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Lahama Naeem and I'm a third year undergraduate student pursuing a degree in biology with a concentration in neuroscience. I'm also a student worker at Lakehead University International, a member of the board of directors for LUSU and an executive and active member of many clubs on campus, including Sustainability Initiative Thunder Bay and the LU Muslim Student Association. Here are my top three tips for new students. First, Engage with your professors and ask questions in class. It's okay to be nervous, especially when you're asking a question in front of a big group. But participating in class and asking questions helps you be successful and leave a good impression on your professors. Also, don't be afraid to reach out to professors during their office hours or through email. They're always ready to help. Second, get involved in campus life. Even though we're living in a virtual world right now, Make sure you try and get involved with different clubs and departments of the university. The university is doing lots of great online programming and you can always reach out to different LUSU reps to see if they're doing virtual programming as well. Third, make sure you find time for yourself. Transitioning from high school to university isn't easy. Make sure you schedule frequent breaks and check in with yourself to avoid burning out. 
There are lots of ways to de-stress and help you focus. And I always find that taking a break helps me be more productive. There are lots of amazing resources at, at Lakewood University um, and you want to make sure that you access them as well. So make sure to reach out if you are feeling overwhelmed. Thank you so much for your time and I truly hope you all make the most of your first and coming years at Lakewood University. Thank you. Thank you, Lahama, for sharing your experiences and your insight with our newest students. It is now my privilege to introduce to you Dr. Moira McPherson, Lakey University's President and Vice Chancellor. Thank you very much. Bonjour. Bonjour. I'd like to start this evening by first saying thank you to Audrey for this evening's amazing honor song. It was a great way to start our celebration and our opening this evening. And I also want to thank Elder Trish Monag and of course, Elder Jerry Martin for their prayers and their messages. I would like to extend a warm welcome to Chief Collins and Chief Ted Williams. It's great to see both of you again, even if it is virtually. And to Lahama Naim and other student leaders who are with us this evening, and to all of the special guests, faculty, staff, friends, and family that are with us virtually. And finally, and most importantly this evening, I say welcome to our new students. It's a tremendous pleasure this evening to address students from all over this province, this country, and indeed the world, who have made the excellent choice to study at Lakehead University. Students, today marks a new chapter in your lives, one that you will have the opportunity to write. And yes, it will start out against a COVID backdrop, but you will still have the ability to shape it to choose the twists and turns you will take as you face both challenges and opportunities and the choice of characters. And there will be many of those throughout your degree program. All of these things are to be determined by you as you weave your own university journey. It may seem a bit daunting at the moment, but consider this adventure as both empowering and as exciting. By choosing Lakehead University, you, the change makers, the leaders of tomorrow, have chosen to study among a diverse community at a university that prioritizes both academic excellence and social responsibility, and one that is building on strong local, global, and indigenous partnerships. Lakehead's strategic plan affirms our commitment to transformative student experiences grounded in exceptional scholarship and an experience that will nurture your potential. There are many barriers to accessing a university education and I know very well that getting started today, this week is only one part of the journey. So first of all, congratulations on all of the hard work that has brought you this far and for choosing to join our university community. If I may offer one piece of advice, it is this, make the most of your time in university. As Lahama has so nicely said just a few moments ago, you need to take advantage of the opportunities that present themselves, whether it's joining a new club, volunteering, or participating in community events. Take advantage also of the many virtual and one-on-one -on -one supports that are available to you at Lakehead. Your instructors and teaching assistants, your lab facilitators, and all of the academic support staff are all here to make sure that you have what you need to succeed. Look for new ways to engage with the services the university has to offer, as well as with new friends and classmates and your professors. We are all here to support your journey and to help you realize your unique dreams 
and potential. So once again, I say welcome to Lakehead University. Merci, thank you, miigwech. Thank you, Dr. McPherson. That concludes our opening commencement. I want to thank everyone for joining us tonight and attending this orientation activity, as well as the many others that are planned for you. I'd also like to invite all of you to stay online and join us for musical talent um, that represents uh, music from our hometown communities within Thunder Bay and Aurelia. Enjoy the evening and all the best as you start your new academic year and your new journey at Lakehead. Thank you. Welcome, bienvenue, bonjour. Welcome to the Lakehead family. These are all the messages. Hi, I'm Andrew Tarstano. I'm a proud Lakehead alum, and we're so happy to have you become part of our Lakehead family. I often say that Lakehead University is small, but in a big way. And I think that's extremely true in research at this university. If you're a motivated student, you're going to be able to be involved in research projects with faculty members right from day one. I'm Betsy Birmingham, the Dean of Social Sciences and Humanities, and I'm here to support your success at Lakehead. Hi, I'm Chandar Shahi. I'm here to make your experience excellent at Lakehead University. I'm Eula Hughes, Dean of the Faculty of Law. Welcome. Hi everybody, I am Kathy Pazahan, a proud Lakehead alumni from the Faculty of Business. Welcome to the Thunderwolves family. You name it, we will look after you. We look forward here at Lakehead University to delivering a strong research experience and innovative teaching. Once again, welcome to Lakehead Aurelia. Congratulations and good luck. My name is Prabjot. I'm the Vice President of Operations and Finance for Lakehead University Student Union. Let's start your adventure. On behalf of my colleagues on City Council and the citizens of Thunder Bay, please accept our warmest welcome. Thank you for choosing Thunder Bay and Lakehead University. You have chosen an excellent university for your studies. The university has a tremendous reputation and boasts a remarkable group of alumni whose achievements are felt and recognized around the world. Welcome from the Faculty of Education at Lakehead University. Welcome to the Lakehead family. And it's my pleasure on behalf of all the non-academic staff to welcome you to our campus. Albeit virtually, I do look forward to seeing all of you in the semester ahead. Congratulations on the beginning of your Lakehead adventure. My name is David Barnett. I'm the Provost and Vice President of Academic at Lakehead University. I would like to extend a personal welcome to all of our new students here at Lakehead University. We are here to support you and to help you achieve your educational dreams. Our faculty and staff are dedicated to your success and look forward to welcoming you. Welcome to the Lakehead University family. And my advice to you is to get involved and make the most of your university experience. Can't wait to see you, whether it's online or in person. Welcome. I look forward to meeting you all and look forward to developing our new relationships together. Great choice to join the Lakehead family. Welcome to Lakehead. We're glad that you've chosen to join our Lakehead family. A warm sunshine city welcome. Lakehead students are such a wonderful part of our community and I encourage you when you're able to get out and explore what truly is a beautiful city. Say bonjour. Watch it. Nemata bin. There you go. Lake Edge University. Um, come drop by sometime, have a cup of coffee or tea with us and some panic. Hello everyone, my name is Akraj Singh. I'm your president of the student union at Lakehead University. I'm here to serve you and welcome all the Thunderwolves to Lakehead University. Hello, I'm Moira McPherson, president and vice chancellor of Lakehead University. I'm so pleased to welcome you to your Lakehead adventure. Kid, it's Cassie De Selva. I'm a local Aurelian musician, and I'm going to play a couple songs for you. Welcome to my castle. I'm sorry for the asshole. The guards at the gate had a terrible day again. Point is in my eyes. And Ivy drapes the staircase 
smile just the way as a sad face It's an enchanted mess Mine is a cricket crown And I wear it so well Dice in the dust with me I'm not a fantasy Welcome to my castle I'm gonna let you in Dice in the dust with me It's Wonderland, I'm Alice, no king in my throne And I'm perfectly fine within my portrait Looks so pretty, the way she looks down on me The lady that I should be is faded and paper thin Mine is a crooked crown, and I wear it so Welcome to my castle I'm gonna let you in Dance in the dust with me Don't wanna make believe Welcome to my castle I'm gonna let you in To my castle Welcome to my castle Welcome to my castle I'm gonna let you drive the drive prefer to get this conversation out of the way I know we're only two weeks in But I got some things about me and they ain't gonna change So you should probably see them I'm not the girl who puts on a face Won't fix my hair before you're awake I'm not the girl waiting for your call I don't play it cool so baby I prefer to get this conversation out of the way Before we get too deep in I like you so much Gonna give the act up I'm showing you the rough cut like you so much People just stay written off So I'm showing you the rough cut The rough cut formality out of the way before we're too far under is it gonna scare you off or will it make you stay no i don't wanna wonder i'm the girl who doesn't know how to edit myself for when it's so that I'm the girl who hates being wrong, so we should get this right, baby. Yeah, I'd like to get these formalities out of the way, cause I refuse to filter my colors. I like you so much, gonna give the act up. I'm showing you the rough cut. I like you so much, people. 
people just saving enough so i'm showing you the rough cut the rough cut Thanks so much for having me, Lakehead. I'm Cassie Silva, and I hope you have a great school year. Hello, Lakehead University. We're Green Bank. Welcome to Orientation 2020. We're here at the beautiful Foundry in Thunder Bay, downtown Port Arthur on Red River Road. This is our first song of the night. It's called Out of the Rain. It goes like this.
seems so strange to me Friends and family up in arms drawing lines between each other These days it seems to be a struggle to see things clearly The days when right and wrong were clear as black and white have gone and seem more like a dream than ever was I'm always dreading a fine line I'm noticing the weight of it all This new world, man, he's got a big new eye But can't seem to do the job It seems a big talk behind the screen Is all he's really got for one another And ain't doing nothing, helping no one Fighting family, feeling crazy, man There's gotta be a better way And we're all just treading a fine line But are we playing through a game? to tell another man how to feel but it tears me up seeing a good friend spitting hate and preaching for you so i tell you straight i don't think these waves will ever come the days when right and wrong are clear as black and white have gone and seem more like a dream that never was i'm always treading a fine line and as i hang this head down low Okay, have a great 2020. We'll see y'all soon.